Hey everyone, so here I am doing exercise 6.3, third question. This is from integer chapter of class 6 and the question here is fill in the blank. The first one we have is minus 8 plus blank is equal to 0. Now to this minus 8, what we should add to get 0? It's like an additive inverse. Now we know that we got final answer 0. It means the same number cancel out with opposite sign. So minus 8 means we have to take 8 here. Like negative inverse of minus 8 is 8. Same number with different sign. They cancel out each other. We get the answer 0. Similarly for second one also. 13 plus what we should add to get 0. So additive inverse of 13 is minus 13. So minus 13 is equal to 0. The next one you can see. 12 plus the additive inverse of 12 is minus 12. Whenever you add the number and its additive inverse, you always get 0. So answer here will be 0. But next question is quite different. It's not related to additive inverse. Now they are asking minus 4 plus what we should add to get minus 12. Now you can use logic and you can solve this or you can frame like you can solve it like an equation. I'm going to show you both the ways. Now you can see that the final answer is minus like its sign is negative it means the number what you're adding should also be a negative integer because the final answer is negative obviously the number here has to be negative or it can be positive if the number here is positive it has to be a greater because we got minus 12 its sign is negative so obviously it cannot take the sign of minus 4 because it's smaller so obviously this number has to be negative integer. So negative means how much we should add to this 4 to get 12? It is 8. Instead of 8, we are going to write down minus 8. Like I just mentioned before, it has to be a negative integer. Now the number with the same sign will add up, right? If the two integers have a same sign, we do addition. So 4 plus 8 is 12 and the sign will remain same which is negative. So answer here will be minus 8. The next one here is dash minus 15 is minus 10 so how much we, sh we are the final answer is minus 10 and what we should uh, should come here we're subtracting with minus 15 the answer is minus 10 now this is interesting here so just think the final answer is negative it means it has here a smaller number has compared to 15 so what could be that one? So here I'm going to show you with the equation type. You can frame an equation and you can solve this or you can use a logic. So the first one I have shown you how to use this logically. The second one I'm going to show you with the equation. Now suppose the here the answer, let me take it as x. Now you're going to transpose this number to the other side. The negative will become positive. So x will be equal to minus 10 plus 15. So two numbers have a different sign. So we're going to do... Uh, like a uh, subtraction so 15 minus 10 is 5 and the sign here will be positive so here in place of x we're gonna get answer 5 so that's it we have done all the question i hope this is clear in case you have further question or doubt you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching